Hello, hello, good evening, class. Welcome. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, Julio. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hi, lady. Hi, Miss. How are you? We're good. Excellent. So today's your final day, right? So you're ready for the next module, I think. Yes. Hello, Oscar. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Julio, what happened to you yesterday? He has problems with the camera. Uh, Elena, hello. Diana, Clelia. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Elena, nice to hear you. Thank you. Um, Julio, um, I don't know what happened to you yesterday, Julio. Do you have troubles with the camera or what? Yeah, I got time. Okay, so we're about to start. Just hold yeah. it. Uh -huh. Yes. Si se escucha cortado. Okay, la cámara por si tiene problema. I don't know what happened. Did you check the app, Julio? No? That's not that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I checked. Uh -huh. I think that's the Zoom. Well, because that happened to me. Um, how was your day, by the way, guys? How was your day? Oscar, you're thinking about what? <laughs> thinking about traveling? <laughs> My day is... Uh, I wake up the late. <laughs> Did you work today? No? Yes, I, I wake up uh, late. This day, this day. What time do you uh start working? It's the eight, eight half, nine. Nine. Mm, awesome. 12, ten. Oh. Wow. <laughs> we would love that job, right? No, yeah. I um, mm -hmm. I look the different problems in the. Uh, the trucks and the uh, uh, perfection. I buy perfection and different trucks in the company. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know and I know and and buy and different different uh, sales. Alice says, reports in no no hour specific late mm -hmm. late and, and so late I think company mm -hmm. yes. yes okay well uh, that's okay well the good part is that you slept um more today <laughs> yeah it is very interesting. Why? Uh, many problems. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, right, indeed. So you'll get problems. See the problem. Very good. It's uh, interesting. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Well. Yeah. Well, we we probably need you to talk a little bit about your job. Um, and let's see, we're gonna start, guys, with our session. And welcome um, back again, guys. So this is our last session. And uh, well, we have a topic to cover today. So I hope you enjoy this uh, class. Uh, today is our last day, um, so February twenty first, right? Uh, let's see, what do we have for this class? Uh, lady, could you help us and read the uh, agenda, please? Session 20, warming up, class objective, previous no knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, Free task? Uh, no, este de acá. 
uh, previous? Knowledge, knowledge. Knowledge, thank you. Pre-task, time clauses, task preparation, interactive exercise, task, speaking, wrap, wrap up, I learn about, about assignment online mm -hmm. that English cooperative that met. Okay, awesome. So we have uh, the first activity are warming up and there you have Pikachu is really happy because it's uh, we're going to play. <laughs> so let's open the game. So you can you can open this uh, link in the meeting chat. So you go to your Zoom app and then you open the meeting chat and there you will find the link. Okay, so we're going to do the following. We're going to do this together, but you can do it on your own. Okay, so you can do it on your own. So just let me share. Um, okay, so here we have it. Okay, so listen, what do we have to do in here? Uh, we have to uh, match the if clause with uh, the main clause. So remember that in the previous class, we talked about a zero conditional, right? Um, if clause and a main clause. Let's see if water freezes. So that is the one sentence. If you exercise regularly, if you run too fast, if you mix red and yellow, you remember that. If you put an egg into salty water, if you hit what? In, so, well, this is very curious. So what happens? If you hit water uh, to 100 degrees Celsius, if you throw a stone into the water, if you leave ice in the sun, if you mix red and blue, and if you stay in the sun too long. So what's the result? Okay, so let's try to do it one by one. Let's see, so let's do the first together. Um, okay, so what do you think could match uh, with the first uh, main clause? It floats. So what could be the, uh, the if clause that we need? It floats. If water freezes, if you hit water, if you throw a stone into the water. Hmm. So what could be the answer? So think about it, think about it. Okay, so let's try with the first one. Um, We're going to start with this. If you throw a stone into the water, it floats. Well, it makes sense. Sense that's the only one I've seen. But we're gonna check it later. Good, Marlene. Um, okay, it sinks. What's the meaning for sink? What's the meaning? Do you remember sink? Resumidero, uh dice. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so you're very close. A suburb, hundirse, right? Sinks. It sinks. So we're going to try to match uh, the if clause with the main clause, and later we're going to read it. So we're going to check if that makes sense. Okay, it sinks. Or we can start the other way around. If water freeze, happen. You feel healthy, you get bored, you get bored. It, it becomes, it becomes, yes. If water freezes, it becomes, it becomes ice. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's try to match it. Okay, it becomes ice, ice regularly. You feel you, healthy? You, help. mm -hmm. you feel healthy. Very good, Julio. If you run too fast, you get tired. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, this happened to me. So it happened to me today, but I was you walking. <laughs> I was walking. And I suddenly felt tired. Okay. Uh, if you mix a red and yellow, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you mix red and yellow, so what color do you get? Orange or purple? You get orange. Orange. Okay. You get orange. Orange. Okay. Perfect. If you put an egg into salty water, what happens? Any idea? Mm -hmm. 
have you have you tried this? Have you tried with that experiment? Um, if you mix red and blue, a with and uh, you get purple. Okay, nice. We got another one. Okay, so give me any other. Select one. It sinks uh, if you put an egg into salty water. If you heat water to 100 degrees Celsius, anyone? If you, if you heat water to 1000 degrees Celsius, it boils. Okay, nice. If you leave ice in the sun, it melts. Awesome. Nice, Julio. Let's see. Somebody else, you get the sunburn, it sinks. If you stay in the sun too long, you get a sunburn. Yes, right. So what is a sunburn? Como... Asolearse? Asolearse. Quemaderse. Se broncea, no. <laughs> Se vuelve... Se vuelve encanelado. Okay. Vamos a comparar con encanelado. Mejor de eso. Okay. Let's see. Um, and look at this. We have, uh, if you put an egg into salty water, it sinks. Um, yes. 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 Okay. So we need to test that. Okay, so let's read the sentence. <laughs> so we don't know. It says uh, yes, right? Um, let's see, Julio, could you read the first one? If you throw stone? If you throw a stone into the water, it floats. Okay. Uh, number two, continue, Julio, please. Number two. If you put an edge into salty water, it sinks. Okay, lady, continue with the next two. If you leave ice in the sun, it melts. Okay. If you exercise regularly, you feel healthy. Healthy, healthy, okay. Healthy, healthy. Okay, uh, Oscar, if water freezes. If water freezes, it comes ice. Okay. If, if you hit water to 100 degrees Celsius, it boils. Okay. And Nilton, help us with this one. Hola, teacher. Okay. Could you read it, please? If you mix red and blue. Uh... Is water freezers? Yes, no, this, um, if you mix red and blue. Okay. If you mix red and blue. You get? You get purple. Okay. Next one, Nilton, please. If you run too fast, you get tired. Mm -hmm. Tire. 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 Okay. Tire. Okay. Elena? If you mix red and yellow, sure. dígame, dígame, Elena. En la que está, if you put an F, es en la primera. Mm -hmm. This one, Ajá. if you put an F, do you want mm -hmm. to modify this? Do you want to modify that? Yes, uh, if to put an F into salty water, it floods. Okay, and the next one? Yes, you, you have a reason. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> okay, so we're going to check that. So that's interesting. So if you put an egg into salty water, it floats. 
If you throw a stone into the water, it sinks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Lena. Very good. You're right. Uh, let's see. Uh, could you help us with this one, please? Uh, Elena, could you read it, please? If you mix red and yellow and the last uh, and the last one. Uh, if you mix red and yellow, no alcanza a ver Okay. Purple. You get orange. Oh no, if you make red and yellow. She, she cannot say it, I think. Okay, and uh, could you see the last one? Let's see. If you stay in the sun too long, you get a sunburn. So let's check it. Mm -hmm. So, right, so we were um, wrong with that one, the first one, right? Okay, so now let's continue. We have some more interesting activities and we have our class objective. So look at this. We're gonna talk about some time classes today and let's see, could you read the class objective, please? Um, let me check. Um, Julio, please help us. Participants will be able to fill in a form by develop. What how do you say? Developing. This? Developing a mini role play in pair using some type close correctly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna start. We're going to have a, a review about what we started in the previous class. It was about zero conditional. And this is going to be a key element for our class today. Uh, so what happens if you stay awake all night? So let's look at one example. Uh, could you read it please, uh, lady? What happens if you stay awake all night? If I stay awake all night long, I get sleepy. And the concern, right? So I get sleepy. Um, number two, uh, Julio, what happens if you drop a glass on the floor? Wherever I draw a glass, my moon gets angry. Mm -hmm. Whenever, whenever, cuando sea, okay. Whenever I drop a glass, my mom gets angry, right? And look at this one, uh, Oscar, what happens if you talk loudly in a movie theater? When I talk loudly in, the, in a movie theater, people get mad at me. Okay, so guys, do you remember the structures that we studied yesterday? Yes, uh, we were talking about zero conditional. We need two classes, right? We need an if clause and we need, what else? A main, 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 what? Main clause, right? Recuerda, necesitamos dos cláusulas. La if clause uh -huh. y, uh -huh, y la cláusula principal. So the if clause okay. is, if I stay awake all night long, I get sleepy, comma, I get sleepy. Look at the verbs. So what is the tense that we're using for the zero conditional? What is the tense? Simple present, future, past. What is the tense? Simple? Simple. Simple what? Simple. Simple present, right? For both classes, simple present. If stay awake. Okay, so I may stick this one, look at this. So we have stay, right? Stay awake, stay awake, okay? Get, so there you have the verb in simple present. Whenever I drop, simple present, my mom, what? Gets angry. When I talk, 
Simple present, people get mad at me. And I want you to observe something else. Uh, look at this. We have, uh, we can start with the if, or you can start with this, right? Whenever, or a time clause, whenever. Cuando sea que, o cuando voto. Un vaso, que pasa? Se enoja quien? Mamá. Mamá, ok. Cuando hablo fuerte en el cine, cuando hablo muy fuerte, ruidosamente, la gente, ¿qué, qué pasa con la gente? ¿Se pone feliz? Para. Se enoja. Para. Ajá, ok. Se enoja, right? So I want you to keep that in mind so that you can start with if, you can start with whenever, and you can start with when. So we're going to check some time uh, expressions in order to talk about time. So we're going to check that a later. So right now, um, we're going to try to answer these questions. What happens if you mix red and blue? What happened? Red and blue? Purple. Purple? Okay, so could you give me the full sentence? Full sentence. Okay. If you mix red and blue paint, mm -hmm. I I get no. If you, mm -hmm. you get? get purple. You get purple. Okay. So ready for the next one. What happens if you add sugar to the coffee, to coffee? Anybody? When I add sugar to coffee, Mm -hmm. What is the result? I I get coffee. Mm -hmm. One candy, coffee candy coffee. Mm -hmm. Coffee I can. don't like it. Okay, but the question says, what happens if you add sugar to coffee? Mm, okay, when I add sugar to coffee, I don't like it. Mm. it could be, but so we're talking about the that mix that we do. So when I add sugar to coffee, it becomes... It becomes what? Salty? Sweet. Sweet, right? Okay. Um, what happens if you throw a piece of wood into a fire? What happened? So what's the meaning for throw, throw? Do you remember throw? What's the meaning? Lene, Nelton, tirar, okay, a piece of wood. What's wood? Do you remember wood? Madera. La madera, okay. So if I throw a piece of wood into a fire, it? Or. Burns, right, okay. What happens if you fall out of a tree? So what happened to you if you fall of a tree? Me desmayo, <laughs> so what happened, guys? 
Come on, you can do it. Think about if I fall, if I. Okay. I started. I started. Mm -hmm. I. I die. I die. I start. I die. Yes. Wow, too dramatic. <laughs> Okay, die. It's what you said, right? Die. Yes. I would say. I well, you sad, teacher. I would say. Cry. I feel sad. Why I? I broke the leg. I broke my leg. Okay. Yeah. Right. I broke the leg. I break. Broke or break? By the way. <laughs> I break. A leg. leg. Mm -hmm. Break a leg. Okay, the next one. Um, look at this. What happens if you forget your umbrella on a rainy day? I wet. Uh huh. I. Oh, really. I wet. Mm -hmm. I get. I wet. get wet. Okay. What happens if you hit a policeman? Ideas. Give me ideas. So we can um. Think about what no happened. Uh-huh. Rested. Yeah. Okay. I am arrested. Okay. Uh, what happens if you leave a restaurant without paying? Without paying, they have help. to run fast. <laughs> I have to run fast, right? <laughs> That's good. Yeah, and they, yeah, you yeah, have to be good at running. Okay. <laughs> uh, what happens if you lose a library book? I have to pay it. Uh -huh. No run. <laughs> a library book. Okay. I have to pay. Pay. Mm, I have to pay or I pay. I uh, pay. What happens if you play video games for 10 hours? Oh, my God. So that's too much. I get, I get, I finish the game. I finish, well, it could be. I finish the game. <laughs> or you get sick. Or you get sick. My eyes are not reimpressible. Your eyes are not? Reimpressible. Reimpressible. Mm, okay. My eyes are not free and flexible. Mm, okay. So let, let me see. Uh, let, uh, scary said scary. I think that's the one <laughs> about the policeman. Okay, so listen up. We're going to practice these questions. So I want you to read the questions and ask your classmates. So you can give some other ideas, right? So you can invert that. So what happens if you add sugar to coffee? Oh, oh, I break, I break, I break. Yeah, it becomes sweet uh, if I add sugar to coffee. So you can invert um, that, <laughs> right? What happens if you fall out of a tree? I break a leg if I fall of a tree. What happens if you forget your umbrella on a rainy day? If I forget my umbrella on a rainy day, I get wet. Or I get wet if I forget my umbrella on a rainy day. So remember that you can invert the order of the classes. 
what happens if you leave a restaurant without paying? Mm. Uh, if I leave a restaurant without paying, I have to run fast or I have to run fast if I leave a restaurant without paying. Let's see. Um, Oscar, what happens if you uh, throw a piece of wood into a fire? Into fire. Read it, read it. Okay. Here, this one. What? Uh, if you throw a piece of wood in, into a fire, it burns. Okay. Burns. burns. Uh, let's see what happens if you hit a policeman, lady. If I hit a policeman, I am arrested. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Blanca, what happens if you lose a library book? Uh, if I lose a library book, oh, I have to pay. Okay, so listen, right now I want you to invert the, uh, the sentences, the classes. Uh, for example, once more, one more example. Uh, what happens if, um, okay, if you drop a glass on the floor? Whenever I drop a glass, my mom gets angry or you can invert the order, okay? So I want you to do it, to read it this way and invert the classes as well, okay? Invertamos también el orden, okay? So the meaning is the same. Let's see, um, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and I want you to take a screenshot about it. So in practice, read the question and um, give the answer, right? So I'm, and invert the order as well. Okay, so let's do it and be ready with the screenshot, okay? You're going to work in groups of a uh, three, three to four, okay? So there you go. Join the breakout rooms and ask the questions and read it. Read the answers as well. I away home all night long. I get sleepy. I get sleepy if I stay alone. alone. Lo puedo decir en los dos tiempos. Sí, se tendría que decir en los dos. What happens if you drop a glass on the floor? Clelia. Es en el suelo, pero piso. Sería whenever. Whenever I drop a glass, my mom gets angry. Ajá, ahora de acá y luego. 
في الواقع If I throw a piece of wood into a fire, it burns. What happening if you fall, fall out of a tree? If if I fall off a tree, I break a leg. What happening if you forget your umbrella on a rainy day? Rainy day. If I forget my umbrella on a rainy day, I get wet. What happening if you hit a policeman? If I hit a policeman, I am arrested. What happening if you leave a restaurant without paying? If I leave a restaurant without paying, I have to run fast. What happening if you lost a library book? If I lose a library book, I have to pay. What happening if you play video games for 10 hours? hours. If I on uh, If I forget my umbrella on a rain day, I get wet. What happen if you hate a policeman? Is if I hit a pol policeman, I am arrested. Okay. What happen if you leave a restaurant without paying? Okay. If I lose a library book I have to pay okay. hello hello did you practice guys yes teacher I answer uh, questions Number five is um, what happens if you are sugar to cough? If you are cough or sugar to cough, mm -hmm. to coffee, it becomes, becomes sweet. Uh -huh. It becomes sweet. Nice. Yeah, it becomes sweet. Okay. How about the other one? What happens if you uh, throw a piece of wood into fire? If I throw a piece of wood into a fire, it burns. It burns, okay. If a hole out of three. Eh, la la sin la seis como era, perdón, que estaba escribiendo. <laughs> What happens if you throw a piece of wood into fire? And get a view. If I throw, if, if I throw, throw a piece of wood into a fire. Into a fire. It's a price of good. It burns. It burns. It burns. It's What happens if you fall off of a tree? 
uh, if, if I fall a tree, I break a leg. Okay, uh, Blanca Luz, uh, could you repeat the question? Uh, this again, what happens if you fall out, out of a tree? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, if I fall off a tree, I break a leg. I break a leg. Mm -hmm. Break a leg. Okay. So we're going to go back to the main session, guys. Vamos a regresar, chicos, a la sala principal. Mandamos esas cuatro, esas cuatro que logramos contestar. Sí, bueno. Ok, send it. Send them. Sí, envíenla. Thank you, teacher. Okay, um, let's continue, guys. Welcome back. And, um, well, we have some practice about that zero conditional. We're going to check uh, some more exercises in the next examples. And let's continue. We're going to study something else. Um, it's related to the main topic that we have for today. And look at that sentence. So could you read it, please? Let's see, uh, Veronica, could you read it? Okay. That's preparation study. Okay, when I find it, sir, little pig's house, I will have a big barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right? So when I find that yes. sir, little pig's house, I'll have a bar big barbecue. So big, not a small big a barbecue. Okay, so I want you to check the tense. So could you check the tense? So what is the tense that we're using? What's the tense? Look, we have when, so it's talking about time, right? When, let's see, uh, hello. Okay, and look at this, we have a verb in simple present. Okay. And uh, look at this, we have a comma, so it means that we have two sentences, right? When I find a third little pig's house, I'll have a big barbecue. So what's the meaning for I'll? Do you remember I'll? Means? I will, right? So this is just. Mm -hmm. So este solamente es un ejemplo, okay? Because we're going to talk about uh, these time classes, uh, in order to talk about time, right? Or when the action or the activity happens. But in the meantime, we're going to stop because we're going to answer the survey. Vamos a detenernos un ratito y después continuamos ahí con la historia. Ok, vamos a llenar la encuesta en este momento, chicos, para que todos puedan enviarla. Vamos a ver. Bien, um, me gustaría que todos ingresen en el chat de, de WhatsApp, compartido eh, la información con eh, lo que vamos a realizar. Entonces, eh, Voy a compartir en este momento el enlace a través del chat de Zoom. 
Por eso me gustaría también que ingresaran ahí. Si no lo tienen en el chat de WhatsApp, o ya está perdido por ahí, ingresemos al chat de Zoom y ingresamos a ese formulario que les acabo de compartir, chicos. Esta es la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a ver. Y lo puede mandar a WhatsApp. Ok. Sí, perfecto. Ese sí lo tenemos acá en esto. Sí, yo me recuerdo que decía el mensajito que usted nos iba a regalar unos datos. ¿no? Sí, Por ya se lo Ah, ya, ya. Gracias. Ajá. Bueno, ahorita les acabo de compartir eh, algunos datos. Tenemos, eso está en el grupo de, de WhatsApp. Pero le voy a compartir también acá. Otra consulta. Yo cuando entro a Zoom, tengo registrado mi correo personal, pero eh, en la plataforma ingreso con el correo empresarial. Tengo que colocar el correo empresarial. Ok, déjeme verificamos esa pregunta. Hola, buenas noches. Coloque el que nos brindó a la hora de inscribirse. Okay, ah, gracias. Okay. gracias. Okay, Entonces, sería el de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Exactamente. Thank you. Okay. Les acabo de compartir en el chat, chicos, también eh, los datos, la orden de inicio, el nombre del proveedor. Vayan revisando uno por uno el nombre del proveedor, inglés corporativo, Regal International, SADCB, el nombre del curso, inglés principiante, módulo 4, fecha que inició el curso, iniciamos el 25 de enero y la fecha de finalización, 21 de febrero. ¿Qué otro dato importante tenemos por acá? Ok, también recuerden que al finalizar esta encuesta eh, nos deben de enviar una captura de pantalla que comprueba pues, el envío de la encuesta. Con esa captura de pantalla, eh, esa la van a enviar ustedes al grupo de WhatsApp con su nombre completo. Okay. Acá estoy compartiendo con ustedes para que ustedes vayan viendo cuál es el orden de inicio. Yo lo voy copiando ahí del, del chat de Zoom. Eh, ingrese el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y plecas. Será proporcionado ahí por el proveedor, ¿verdad? Ya solo lo copia y lo pega. Sí. Ingresa su nombre completo. Teacher. Dígame. Como estoy con el celular, o sea, copiar y pegar para mí no puedo. Me puede dictar el, la orden de inicio. La orden de inicio, ok. 29. Ajá, 29. Sí. 7. Sí. 5. Sí. 0. Sí. Guión. Sí. 80, 48. Sí. Leca. Sí. Ah, pero el guión era. 8048-0013. Sí. Pleca. Sí. 2023. Muchas ¿Hay gracias. Nada, ajá, hay nada más. El último, antes de los últimos eh, dígitos, es pleca. Y después ajá, del 48 ajá. es guión. Después del 48, guión. Guión 0013, pleca 2023. Perfecto. Gracias. En nombre del curso es... Inglés corporativo. En nombre del curso. Ah, en nombre del curso, perdón. Mm -hmm. Inglés principiante, módulo 4. 
Aquí le vamos a poner. Acá abajo. Recuerden poner ahí su correo, su número celular. Y se le dice el nombre completo, el nombre, nombre del proveedor. No, es su nombre. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. Ok. Aquí abajo es de las últimas, nombre del curso. El nombre del curso sí es inglés principiante módulo 4. El proveedor, aquí nada más elegimos la opción, eh, inglés corporativo. Mm, tiene que poner ahí la empresa donde labora. El inicio del curso fue 20. Ahorita le digo. Uh -huh. 25 de enero. 25 uh -huh. de enero. Uh -huh. Ponerle por acá. Yo, yo. Aquí. Hoy es 21. Hoy es 21. Uh -huh. 25 de enero, fecha que finalizó, 21. Hoy uh -huh. estamos bien. Gracias, Elena. Ok, así como la envió Elena, así la vamos a enviar también a ustedes. Aquí pueden ubicar también eh, qué otros cursos son de su interés. Hay comentarios. Gracias, Oscar. Nice Blanca. Thank you. Teacher, yo me he atrasado un poquito. Porque esta es una tarea con mi hijo también. Y no lo quiero que se acueste tan noche. Este, donde dice nombre del curso, como dijo, perdón. Nombre del curso. Ok, eh, Rosa. Inglés principiante, módulo 4. Okay. Inglés principiante, módulo 4. Cuando fue el inicio, perdón, y teacher, perdón, que he estado explicando en la misma la, la de una tarea. A la orden de inicio, sí, ahorita. Entonces, la orden de inicio es 29. 25 de enero fue. Ajá, 29, 75, 0. 29, y la fecha de fin de la sesión sería ahora, ¿verdad? No, creo sí, que pero la orden de ¿Qué otros cursos hay, teacher? Eh, con la empresa eh, tenemos de marketing, hay de Excel, pero eh, me parece que en este caso pues, se puede mencionar que otros cursos le interesaría eh, tomar. Eso, como esta va para Insafor, entonces, entonces ahí le hacen la ahí escriben algo que le gustaría seguir estudiando, aprendiendo ok, gracias ¿qué otros cursos tiene? no, ahí tienen que ustedes ubicar un curso de su interés, o qué otros cursos okay. le gustaría aprender ah, pueden poner ahí algún otro idioma, como sugerencia ¿verdad? yo gusta idioma francés dicho. ajá, podría ser porque ahorita hasta el momento no, bueno, me parece que había una empresa, pero eh, no, realmente casi solo inglés. Okay. Um, ah, nada más, eh, Rosa, ahí con la orden de inicio es esta que está acá arriba. No sé si la eh, logra ver, acá está. Pero bien. Uh -huh. Le voy a confirmar que no me bien. Ahí se le envía en el chat de Zoom.
Sí, ya no tengo. Ay, no. Ay, no. Qué cosa. Estoy desde el teléfono y borré, lo, lo eliminé. Ay, no. Ok, no se preocupe, solamente ingrese nuevamente el enlace en, en el chat de WhatsApp. Ajá, lo sí. que voy a hacer es enviarle directamente a su chat. Sí, porque no me deja tener aquí esa, esa cosa y por, y por o sea, eh, pasarlo, pasé el otro. Ay, yo. Sí, ahorita se los mando, se los voy a enviar por, por WhatsApp. Listo. Okay. Ahí están los datos. Le voy a compartir el enlace también en el, en el grupo. Y ya he terminado cuando me estaba revisando. Ay. No, pero la práctica es el maestro. Sí. Ok, bien. Vamos. Listo, Rosa. Ahí se lo acabo de compartir. Me notifica, Rosa, si recibió el enlace y los datos. Lo envió al... A WhatsApp. Al WhatsApp. Uh -huh. um, Sí, lo que sucede es que como estoy desde el teléfono, me copia todo, no me copia solamente uh -huh. el número, pero ya lo voy copiando de uno en uno, permítame. De acuerdo, Rosa, está bien, no se preocupe. Thank you, lady. Thank you, Verónica. Blanca, nice. Uh, Rafael, add your name. Ok, por acá, Rafael, ahí no, no le ubicó el nombre. Jorge, dígame. Solo llego a mi casa y le hago el test. Ok, la encuesta. Sí. Yes, yes. Ok, nos envía con el nombre completo. Ok. Eh, Blanca, ubíquele el nombre, por favor, ahí a la, a la captura. También Rafael, para que quede ahí este, la evidencia. Gracias, Julio. Ok, hasta el momento tengo, les voy a comentar cuál les he recibido. Ok, tenemos Carmen Elena, Oscar. Blanca Isabel, Ana Verónica, Clelia Estela, Ana Marlene, Nilton Vázquez, eh, Julio, me parece que es la siguiente, Julio, Julio César, Guillén. Ok, la siguiente es de... Ah, Rafael, Rafael, ubíquele ahí al, nada más un nombre completo a la, a la captura. Eh, tenemos luego Blanca Luz Delgado, Verónica Elizabeth Burgos y Lady. ¿Quién más nos hace falta? Bueno, Rosa está todavía ahí trabajando en eso. Eh, Jorge. Bueno, Diana. Diana. Diana, ahí no sé, este, Diana está por acá. Sí. Ya nos envió la encuesta, ¿no? Sí. No la he identificado hasta el momento, permite. Le ubicó su eh, nombre. Está la envía. Envíe la captura nada más. Y, y, el nombre, y póngale ahí su nombre para que la identifiquen.
Fernando, hola Fernando, está por acá. Hola, hola, Fernando Figueroa. Yes, me lo voy a mandar. Ya, se lo permite. Perfecto, Diana, ahí está. Sí, esa es la que no tenía nada. Ok. Fernando, hola Fernando, está por acá Fernando Figueroa. Es, estoy, estoy mandando una, una cotización, espérate, que me, una cosa, me gusta. Ok, Ver, eh, Verónica Hernández. Solamente nos haría falta Verónica y... Ya, ya lo hice, Miss. Ok, muy bien. Eh, Verónica Hernández, ¿verdad? Correcto. Gracias, Verónica. Ah, pues sí, estamos bien. Pero nos falta Jorge. En este momento está llenando la encuesta, Miss. Ok, ok, Jorge. Sí, che, yo le envié este, la mía, ya la llené. No, solamente ubíquele su nombre, porque solo eh, la captura quedó ahí, pero tiene que ubicarle el nombre. Ah, comprendo. Ya. Yo lo identifico acá, pero hay que ponerle nombre. Ya le envié, Miss. Okay. Gracias, Rosa. Ok, muy bien. Ok, ubíquele su nombre, Rosa, ahí. Rosa, ay, hombre. Nilton, ¿ya envió su en la encuesta? Ah, sí, ahí está, ya, ya la encontré. Sí, sí. Ahí está. Ok, nuevamente, Fernando, ¿está por acá, Fernando? Ahora sí, teacher. Ahí está. Perfecto, Rafael, muchas gracias. Ok, muy bien. Bien, vamos a continuar, chicos. Gracias por su encuesta eh, y su apoyo. Vamos a seguir. Um, ok, so what we're, we're discussing in here uh, was actually about the, the sentence and the tense. When I find the third little pig's house, I have a big barbecue. So we have simple present and we have, so what is this tense? Future, right? So I just want you to check that and have fun with that, okay? Simple present and future. So what I want you to keep in mind that you can use time clauses with uh, different tenses, okay? Por ejemplo, se puede utilizar las time clauses con tiempos diferentes. So we're going to check that. So let's see. Okay. So can you tell me if you can see that screen? Can you see it? Yes.
¿Ya se visualiza, chicos, ahí la presentación? Avisen. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. 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 Okay, very good. So now let's analyze a little bit about the definition. What is a time clause and what does it mean? Uh, could you read this information, please? Let's see. Lady, we use? We use the simple present in all of the clause to talk about something that is always true. Okay. So do you remember that, uh, well, in simple present, you use this, um, you use the, the simple present in order to talk about general truths, things that happen regularly or scientific facts. So basically what we're studying today is time classes with simple present. But besides that, uh, we're going to check some examples in some other tenses. Entonces acá básicamente lo que estamos viendo es eh, las time classes con el presente simple. Pero eh, ustedes van a ver ahí ejemplos donde se está utilizando otro tiempo. O decir, otro tiempo verbal. ¿verdad? So, but first, let's analyze the two parts that we're, we're going to find. We're going to find, uh, find a time class whenever, cuando sea. Whenever she goes to a mall. Cuando sea que ella vaya a un mall, she tops up her mobile. So what's the meaning for tops up? Any idea? Tops up? No ideas? Top up. Completely. Mm -hmm. So look for that, top top, top top, meaning? Recarga. Recarga, okay. So whenever she goes to a mall, she tops up her mobile. Look at this, we have a time class and we have a main class, simple present, simple present, right? So that is basically uh -huh. what we're studying today. This is related to zero conditional. So when we, we, we're talking about uh, these uh, time classes, and we're going to use them in the simple present tense, okay? And remember, when do we use the simple present to talk about something that is true or uh, that has a scientific uh, evidence, right? Okay, so remember that the time class starts with a conjunction, okay? So we're going to uh, mark some important details about it. Time class, it starts with a conjunction. Okay. So here, whenever, and the main class starts with subject and a verb, right? Subject, verb. So you have a conjunction plus a subject plus verb. Whenever she goes to a moon, she, she taps up her mobile. Entonces, recuerden que una time clause va a empezar con una conjunción, ¿verdad? Una conjunción y la main class, una oración normal. Recuerden que las cláusulas son nada más oraciones. Okay. So now that we have that idea, let's continue. And we're going to check some important information about these um, time clauses. Okay, just hold on, let me share. Yeah. Okay, so uh, for these um, time classes, we're going to use some subordinating conjunctions, okay? For example, when, uh, until, a while, Okay, when we already have when, after, before. So there you have some common subordinating conjunctions or uh, relative adverbs. 
So when, so what's the meaning for when? Mm -hmm. Cuando, until, okay, while, after, después, before, antes, right? So uh, we're going to use these subordinating conjunctions in order to join two classes. Lo vamos a utilizar para unir dos cláusulas o dos oraciones y nos van a ayudar a indicar tiempo, cuando ocurre una actividad, okay? Let's check uh, some more information about these time classes. So we have, ah, besides that, we also have as soon as, tan pronto como, as soon as, until, while, when, after, and before, okay? So let's check some more information that we have. Okay. Oh. Subir, subir. Tomar eso. okay. So look at okay. this. Uh -huh. Okay, so look at this. Here you have some important information. So when do we use a time clause? So that is basically what we have been uh, discussing here. So remember a time class? Our phrases that express when or what uh, when something happens, right? When an activity or event happen. For example, she will not go to school until it stops raining. Okay. So could you identify the main class in the um, time class? So could you identify that? So what is the main clause? Okay, she will not go to school. And what is the time clause? Until it stops raining. Recuerden que la cláusula de tiempo es la que lleva esa conjunción. Until, while, when, before, after, as soon as. Y la otra pues solamente es una oración. Puede ser en presente, puede ser en futuro o en otro tense. Ok. So now look at this. There you have some inform important information. Ok. So what is the main uh, sentence, the main clause? She will not go to school. So that's basically the same explanation, right? Um, but when, when this action is going to happen? Well, the action will happen until it stops raining. Hence, the second sentence, until it stops raining, is the time clause. So that's the definition in Spanish. So you can read it. Okay, uh, let's see. Could you read this information, please? Uh, let's see, uh, Julio. Read it. This is clausulas. Las cláusulas pueden usarse tanto al inicio como al final de las oraciones. El significado no se ve afectado por el, este cambio mm -hmm. en el orden. <coughs> Te un ejemplo para clasificar. Este punto. Okay, so do you remember that when we were using zero conditional, we invert the order of the elements? Do you remember that? Recuerden que cuando veíamos la zero conditional, eh, zero conditional, invertíamos el orden de los elementos y no pasaba nada. So the same happens in here. So I'm going to cook dinner before time class, my wife arrives okay second example before my wife arrives i'm going to cook dinner so this is the same meaning so it doesn't matter if you invert the order okay so look at this in the first sentence you have a time clause at the end time clause this one right time clause Second sentence, 
So you have the time class at the beginning. So is there any difference? Well, you just modify the order, but this meaning is the same. The comma? Mm -hmm. uh, well, and you add a comma. Yes, of course, so you add a comma. Okay, so we keep that the rule. So you add this comma over here. So there you have a comma. Recuerden que ahí también tenemos esta coma. And you need to place a comma when you start with time class. Before my wife arrives, comma, I'm going to cook dinner. Okay. But if you start with the main class, I'm going to cook dinner before my wife arrives. No coma needed in here. Okay. Entonces ahí no necesita coma en la primera. Okay, uh, could you help us with this information? Let's see, Rafael. Oraciones. Here. Oraciones con when. After, before, until, as soon as. As soon as. As soon as. While. Este tipo de frases utiliza normalmente el siguiente vocabulario. When, af when after, before, until, as soon as. As soon as I while, vamos a dar el significado de ejemplo de cada una de esas palabras. When, cuando. I sad when I not with my family. Estoy triste cuando no estoy con mi familia. When I bought it, I see a movie. Cuando estoy aburrido, veo una película. Okay. After. Después o después de. Okay, so we're gonna um, talk a little bit about it. So remember that this time of uh, these time classes uh, are followed or uh, contain a conjunction. Okay, so that's key. So they have when, they have a word like when, after, before, until, or as soon as, even while. But we have some more. After or this was there. So what's the meaning? Let's check an example. I bought a card after I won the lottery. Compré un carro después que. Mm -hmm. I won the lottery. I won the lottery. So could you tell me what is the tense of this sentence of this uh, time class? What is the what is the tense? ¿Cuál es el tiempo? El tiempo after when the lottery. El tiempo gané. Simple gané present, future or simple past. Simple present. Simple present. Simple. No, no, you read it again? Simple past. No, past, 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 past tense, past tense, future. Because the, the verb is both. But, okay. Mm -hmm. Important. So you have to pay attention to that, right? I bought here. So you have a very past and then you have a very past. Okay, but the um, conjunctions are expressing a time clause, right? So we're, that's what we're uh, studying. Entonces, ahí nada más eh, notar, porque ustedes lo pueden utilizar con eh, cualquier tiempo de las time clauses. Simple present, simple past, future. Okay, I bought a card after I won the lottery. Another example, after I graduated from college, I got a good job. Okay, so what is the main clause in the second sentence? What is the main clause in here? Main clause? I got Good job. Excellent. He got a job. But well, we need something, right? When? After? I I close. After I graduated from college. Okay. Is that clear? Questions? Hay preguntas, chicos, hasta el momento? ¿Cómo vamos? Julio?
No. No questions. Okay. So now let's look at the next uh, word that we have before. Can you read it, please, uh, Oscar? Before. Before and o antes de. I did homework before when we went to the party. Okay. La tarea antes de que fuéramos a la fiesta. Before I had this modern computer. I had a very old one. Okay. Antes de que tenía esta computadora. Moderna, tuve una muy antigua. Mm -hmm. A very old one. Okay, uh, so what is the main class in here? Main class, example one, I did homework before we went to the party. Yes, we went to the party. Mm. Is that the, the main, main class? The main class. ¿Cuál sería mi clausula principal ahí? Mi oración principal. I did homework. I did okay. homework. Y la time class es la que lleva. Homework we went to the party. Mm -hmm. Es la que lleva la conjunción. Okay. About this one. Before I had this modern computer, I had a very old one. Time class. I had a very old one. Uh -huh. Time class. Uh, okay. Is that the time class or main class? Main class. Main class. Okay. Time class. Before I had this mother computer. Okay, nice. Let's check the next example. Julio, could you read it, please? Until. 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 Hasta o hasta que. I did not believe low until I saw, I saw you. No, no creía el amor hasta que te vi. I will not help you until you apologize. Okay. No te hasta que no te I will help mm. you and your okay. So look at this. I didn't believe. I did not believe love until I saw you. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it's nice. Uh, I will not help you. Until you apologize, okay. Oh. So could you tell me who who can tell me uh, what is the tense in these two uh, examples? So what is the tense for these two examples? ¿Cuál es el tiempo para estos dos ejemplos que tenemos ahí? Number one. So what is the what is the tense? Past. 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 Simple past. Okay, what is the main class for this uh, example? I did not believe love. I did not believe love. And the main, uh, the time class? Until I saw Until you. Until you. Until I saw you. Okay. Oh, you. <laughs> and how about this one? What do you think about it? Second sentence. Future. Future, right? Future. So I will not help you until you apologize. Apologize. Hasta que no te disculpes. Okay, so what is the main clause for the second sentence? I will not help you. I will not help you until you apologize. That is? Yes. Uh -huh. Time class. And there you have the main class, right? Okay. Let's continue. We're going to check some examples. So we have Azun As. Will you help us with this one? Uh, let's see. Marlene, Azun As. Is Marlene here? Marlene, are you here? Ah, yes, you're here. <laughs> here. Uh, 
pasas unas tan pronto. We call me boss as soon as I have the report. Okay. I will call my boss as soon as I have the report. Llamaré a mi jefe tan pronto como tenga el reporte, right? And I look at the next one. As soon as she arrives, I'll tell her about the party. I'll tell her about the party. So what can you notice in these um in these two examples? What can you notice? So what are the tenses in these uh, examples? Look at this. I will call my boss. So there you have your main class. Time class, as soon as I have the report. As soon as she arrives, time class, and main class. I will tell her about the party. Mm -hmm. So what, what's the tense for these two examples? What's the tense? The tense is present. Present. I'll call my boss as soon as I have the report. Uh, the future, the first is future. the future. I will future, call it. Probably. Future, right? The second two is yeah, the future. Uh, the both is future. So we're expressing future. So this is called first conditional. This is the first conditional. Present con futuro. I will call my boss as soon as I have the report. As soon as she arrives, I'll tell her about the party. Y recuerden, el primer condicional indica futuro. El zero conditional indica qué cosa. Vamos a ver, ¿quién recuerda? ¿Qué indicaba? Uh -huh. Facts, scientific facts, and general fruits, right? Okay. Um, while, could you help us with this one, please? Uh, let's see, Nilton, please. While. Ahorita. Well. Igual, a mientras. Eh, I even why you could. Yo plancho en mientras tú cocinas. Eh, she was reading her bike with why? Why I was playing tennis. Okay. Ella estaba montando su bicicleta mientras yo jugaba tenis. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So, Aaron, Aaron, so check the pronunciation. Aaron, I Aaron while you cook. Yo planchaba main class, time class while you cook. Okay. So remember that the time classes express time, right? So they express time. Cocinaba mientras que tú. Perdón, planchaba mientras que tú cocinabas. She was riding her bike while I was playing tennis. What is this tense, guys? What is the tense for this example? ¿Cuál sería el tiempo de estas dos oraciones, de, estas, de este ejemplo? Presente. Present. Ajá, la primera es presente. ¿La segunda? Pasado. ¿Pasado qué? Ah, no. Continuo. Pasado, es continuo. Present. She was waiting. Uh -huh. Ella estaba montando. Ella andaba en su bicicleta. Yeah, mientras yo estaba jugando tenis. Ok. Lo que hemos podido notar con estos ejemplos es que usted puede utilizar las time classes con todos los tiempos, ¿verdad? Los hemos visto con futuro, con presente simple, con pasado, con pasado continuo, ¿ok? Y aprendimos a identificar dos cosas, la main class y la time class, ¿sí? ¿Cuál es la time class? ¿Cuál va a ser la time class, guys? La que lleva qué cosa. El, el tiempo de la oración. Tiempo. Mm. 
las que llevan la well, conjunción. conjunción. Uh -huh. Las que llevan la conjunción. While, when, well, well, as soon as, until. 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 Vamos nuevamente. Esas, esas, miren. Las que nos están indicando tiempo. Cuando, cuando <coughs> sucede algo. As soon as, until, while, when, after, and before. Okay. So now let's go back. Uh, I don't know if you have questions about it. Any question? Okay, so no questions. Like, let's go back to the presentation. So now we're going to check some examples. And we're going to read this information. I want you to pay attention to this. We already know it, but it's important. Relative adverbs. So these are relative adverbs. When, while, as soon as, or popularly known as subordinating conjunctions. Okay. Tenemos ahí las eh, relative adverbs o conocido más bien como conjunciones subordinadas. Until, before, whenever, once, as, since, eh, by the time, till, and Every time. Tenemos cuando, mientras, tan pronto como. Eh, ¿Cuál es esto? By the time. Okay. No, esta, after. What's the meaning? After. Después. Después. Before. Un, antes. Until. Hasta. Hasta. Okay. Whenever. Yeah. Como sea. No. Cuando. Cuando. Cuando sea, right? Whenever, once. Una vez. Una vez. Una vez, okay. O, oh, ya, yeah, una vez. Uh, as. Como. Como. Como o mientras. 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 Since. Desde. Desde. desde by desde. the time. Por el tiempo. Para el momento. Uh -huh. Para el momento. Para el momento. Uh -huh. By the time. Till. Ahí se nos Hasta. Se Hasta. Lo mismo. Lo mismo. Oh. Es lo mismo. And every time. Cada vez. Cada vez. Awesome. Cada vez. Ok, so let's read a little bit about this. Uh, known as subordinating conjunctions are used to join two classes. So we join two classes and express when an event happens. ¿Qué decíamos que nos ayudaban a hacer? A indicar cuando ocurría una actividad, una acción. They can be used in different tenses such as simple present, future, or the past. So let's check the examples. Number one, uh, can you read it please, Julio? Well, let's cross the bridge. When we come to it. Okay, so what is the tense? Vamos a identificar el tiempo. What is the tense? Let's cross the bridge when we come to it. Present. Present, okay. Number two. Uh, lady? Will? Will keep on driving while there's still daily daylight. Okay, so what is the tense? ¿Cuál sería el tiempo aquí? Future. Future, okay, future. Uh, Veronica, help us with this one, number three. The baby can cry as soon as he is born. Okay, so what is the tense? The baby can cry as soon as... Yeah. Present. Present, right? The baby can cry as soon as he's born. Okay. Uh, Marlene, after. Hello. Can you read this example? After I had finished. After I have finished my homework. I went to bed. Okay, so what is the tense? I went. 
¿Qué tiempo sería ese, chicos? Vamos a ver. Past. Pass what? Pass, pass, pass. Pass. Pass perfect. Ok, después de que yo había terminado mi tarea, me fui a la cama, ¿verdad? Pasado, perfecto. Uh, let's see. Um, Oscar, can you read it, please? Don't count. Here. Oscar, this one. Don't count. Don't count. Uh, don't count your chicken before they are hatched. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this means um, that you don't, uh, it's in order to advise that someone not to make the mistake of assuming that the thing they are hoping for, they are hoping for, will it finally happen? Esto es, eh, es un, una expresión que nos indica que no debemos asumir, ¿verdad? Asumir de que algo va a pasar. O, oh, yeah, that's basically what it means. Don't count your chickens before they are hatched. No asumir que algo va a pasar. Okay, um, let's see. So what is the tense? What is the tense? Don't count your chickens before they are hatched. Mm. Don't count auxiliary. Look at the auxiliary. Don't count. Mm -hmm. Simple present, right? Don't. Before they are simple present. Okay. Uh, we play cards to kill the time to kill time until the bus came. Bus. And have uh, uh, cars to kill time until the bus came. Uh, could you read the next one, please? Nilton, always. Always. Ahorita. Always look your car whenever you leave it. Mm -hmm. Always lock your car whenever you leave it. Siempre, siempre que cosa? Lock. What's the meaning? Lock. Um, cerrar eh, cierra, uh -huh. cierra. Okay, lock your car whenever you leave it. Siempre cierra tu carro cuando sea que uh -huh. lo dejes, te vayas, te retires tomar. What is the tense? Lock your car whenever you leave it. Para identificar el tiempo, recuerden que hay que ver los verbos. Lock and leave. That is present, right? Let's see, Blanca, could you read it, please? Making. Oh my God. Let's see. Making an omelette is easy once you you've got the neck. Mm -hmm. So making an omelette is easy once you you've got the neck. Okay, what is the tense? Present, right? Present. present. Okay. Simple. Okay, simple present. Um, let's see. Dad looked sad and worried as he read the letter. Dad looked sad and worried as he read the letter. Papá miró tristemente, looked sad. Ah, se veía triste y preocupado. Miren, looked sad and worried as he read the letter. Papá se veía triste y preocupado mientras leía la, leyó la carta. Uh -huh. Mientras leía la carta. Ok, so that means simple pass, right? Simple Susan. pass. Susan has changed a lot since I last saw her. Susan ha cambiado demasiado desde 
que la vi. La vi cuando. La, 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 la última vez. La última vez que la vi. Ok. So that means simple past, right? Has changed. Ha cambiado hasta la última vez que la vi. By the time she was eight, Rafael. Read it. By the time. Where is Rafael? Let's see, Veronica, help us, please. By the time. By the time she was eight, she could read Greek and Latin. Mm -hmm. Okay, she could read. Simple, uh, okay. Present, right? She could read. By the time she was eight, she could read Greek and Latin. Mm. Guys, what is the tense for this uh, sentence? By the time she was eight, she could read Greek and Latin. Lady, Nelton. What's the tiempo? She could. Do you remember could? What is the past tense for can? Cool. Could, right? So it's a simple past. He'll keep uh, the book for me till I come back. He'll keep the book for me till I come back. Hasta que regrese. Uh-huh. Veronica? So keep the book for me till I come back. Okay. And the last one is... Future. Okay. No se mira la última tía, eh, teacher. Uh -huh. And the last one, every time, esa ya no la ven. Every no, time. No every time I ask him about it, I get a different answer. Okay. Cada vez que le pregunto, me da otra respuesta. Tiene una nueva respuesta. <laughs> so that is a simple present, right? Okay, so now let's check some examples. Well, an exercise. Okay, so look at this. We have um, some examples in here and we have to select the right time class, mm -hmm. uh, well, the right the conjunction for this one. Before, as soon as, once, until, after, before, until or before. So let's read the examples. Could you read it please, Oscar, before you start? Before you start wait, wait, waiting the waiting. Purchase. purchase order, you have every product mm -hmm. after you say, we can start placing the package mm -hmm. on the truck. We are authorized to change items until we check the purchase order uh, soon. As soon as, soon, as soon as. As soon as we register. Register. The register. register the order in our system, you can take it home. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's try to do these uh, examples. So what is the right the conjunction for this one? The right conjunction before or as soon as? I get the job, I have to take a shower. Before, as before. Over. As before I get a job, I have to take a shower. Before I get, okay, before I get. As I soon get, as. Um, okay, so there is a mistake here. So it, it's actually A, right? Before I get a job, I have to take a shower. Or as soon as I get a job, I have to take a shower. So what do you think? Before, as soon as. Okay, tan pronto como tenga el, tra tenga el trabajo. Me bañaré. Yes. O antes de tener el trabajo, me tengo que bañar. 
Before. Yeah, right before. <laughs> okay. About two. Once <laughs> you pay for the material, you can start using it. Or until you pay for the material, you can start using it. Once. Until. Once. 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 Okay. Once. Number three, give the change after or before you know how much the total is. After. After, okay. All the workers can go on to you or before they finish their work. Before, on to. Mm -hmm. Todos los empleados, los, los trabajadores, finish their work. On Ajá, uh -huh. until, hasta que termine su trabajo. Ok, so let me check if this works. Tú sí te todo lo que para bailar salsa de 7 pm a 12 pm. Cover 10 dólares con 5 consumidos. No me son de la boya. Quiero ver eso, me interesa. Está bueno. Sí. Momo. Okay, so look at this. Uh, we're going to work in the following worksheet. I'm going to assign you uh, to work in Paris. We're going to complete this. <laughs> okay. No, pues sí. Porque lo chivo todo va a Okay. Um, look at this. Time classes with as soon as, before, when, while, unless. Unless means a menos que. As long as means Siempre, siempre que, ok? Unless means a menos que, y aquí, as long as, siempre que. And provided that, provisto que. Uh, skydiving, for beginners, you have one uh, exercise in there, and the first part is this one. Choose the correct words. So let's try to uh, at least complete the part. This one, can you take a screenshot? Skydiving for beginners. Here. Please. <laughs> Okay, so listen, because of the time, I want you to complete at least this one and your, uh, your notebooks. So try to look for the correct uh, conjunction. Ever wanted to jump out of a plane at 10,000 meters. As long as you're over 18 and under 60, you can. Skydive offers parachute courses for beginners. So what could be the um, conjunction, guys? So we have while, unless, as long as, when, while, before. So what do you think about this one? Skydive offers parachute courses for beginners. When, as soon as, before, while. Any idea? Uh-huh. 
until you're fit and healthy, you could be jumping from a plane in just two day, days. Mm, okay, until. So what could be another one? As soon as. Okay. Mm -hmm. As soon as you are feeling healthy. I participate in a parachute course of jumping. Le pagan por tirarse o hay que pagar por tirarse los mil metros. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have a zonas. Uh, you are fit and healthy. You could be jumping. Okay. About the second one. Uh, why? While, mientras haces tu primer salto, mm, beginners complete an intensive training course. So remember that you have before, after, after. Mm -hmm. After you do your first jump, beginners complete an intensive training course. So that's the, the opposite. Look at this. Oh, oh. <laughs> before. Before you do your first jump, beginners complete an intensive training course. You mm -hmm. can use only two or no? Where? Where? Uh, Here? Second. You do your first jump. Mm, not really, because we're talking about the sequence. Antes, sí. de, antes de saltar. So oh, okay, you... beginner uh -huh. complete intensive training course, okay. Yes, antes I, de, tenemos que... I got it. Mm -hmm. Number beginner three. Completed. You know how to land correctly. You'll be ready for your first jump. Remember that you have a uh, when, after, uh, after, after you know how to learn correctly. Okay, it could be, it could work. Okay, after you know how to learn correctly, you'll be ready for your first jump. Yeah, number four, the weather is bad. You'll do your first jump on day two. Uh, while? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, remember we have scenes, uh, when, a while. Mm -hmm. Us, okay, before. After, unless, okay, provide, when, mm -hmm. when the weather is bad, you'll do your first day jump on, two, on day two. Cuando el clima es malo, harás tu primer salto en el día dos. on day two. Will fill you. Okay, since. Mm. So since means that's the okay. O también puede significar ya, ya que, okay. So I will say since uh, the weather is bad, you'll do your first well, job on day two. First. On day two, well. We will feel to. You can also use provided if, uh, provided that. También podemos utilizar provided that. Mm -hmm. Solo si el clima es malo, saltarás en el día dos. Okay. 
that. And uh, let's see. Um, we'll film you. So which could be the right uh, conjunction? Unless. Unless, right? Unless you do it. Okay. How did you do it? A menos que. A menos que tú lo hagas. Okay, so just to finish, uh, let me open something. And we're done. We're going to pass attendance as well. Okay, just hold on. We're going to check one last example. Oh, it's taking a lot of time. By the way, who has checked this one? Who has checked this uh, exercise? The one in the platform, the exercise 20. So drink your coffee. So what is the right preposition? Uh, I mean, the right uh, mm -hmm. conjunction? Drink your coffee before, because, before. or after? Before. before. Your coffee before, before. right? Okay. Until you finish, will finish, have all finished, nobody can leave. Finished. Mm -hmm. Will finish. Finish or that's there you have one a different that's future that boy won't stop until he Pardon me. <laughs> so this is a negative for will until does get will does or get gets one. Until he gets until he consigue lo que quiere, right? As soon as you this medicine you will feel take take okay awesome take this medicine you will feel better when you read this email on a plane to Germany cuando leas este correo yo will be will I be. will be. I will be Estaré en un avión directo a Alemania. Okay. Before you say uh, anything, just to grab options. Antes de decir algo. Before you say anything, you listen to me. Letter A. Letter A. Oh. Okay, so that's one. And the other one. You must listen to me. You listen to me or let me explain. Before you say anything, let me explain. Okay. Let me explain. Nuria won't speak to her boyfriend while, before, or until. Until, until he applies. Until. Until he apologizes. Okay, I'll cook dinner. Until as soon as or while. As soon as. Tan pronto como. Tan pronto como yo llegue a casa. Okay. I email you. Once. 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 Right. Once. Mm, okay. Once I arrive, una vez llegue. Mm -hmm. uh, Leo won't get married until he will find, finds, found. This one means uh, will not. So that is the contraction for the future tense, negative form. He will find, finds, finds, mm -hmm. finds, find, right? Okay, we'll find a hotel. Oh, 
When? When? Until when or so? We we will find a hotel when mm. until until we arrive. Right. So so we are not. So we are right in Chicago. Until. 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 Okay. We are right in Chicago. Well, actually, when. Encontraremos un hotel cuando lleguemos a Jakarta. Raúl, the cat, won't ask for help unless it is absolutely necessary. It will be or it's going to be. Is. Is. Perfect. It's absolutely necessary. Oh, I want to finish my work before <laughs> this is me. <laughs> before we go out. Before we go out. Yes. Okay. Before we love. I'll solve this problem uh, once. Once. I, I will be, be back. back. I will be back, teacher. Mm, okay. I'll solve. I will solve this problem once. I. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So if you have a future, the other one was present. Uh -huh. Pam is going to look after the cat. Pam is going to look after the cat. Uh, until? Until? Hasta que? Mm. The, no. Read it, read it. No, Pam is going to look after While. the cat. While, right? Mientras yo estoy. Bueno. Okay, so just let's check the last uh, activity in the platform and they were done. Vamos a nada más checar, chicos, ahí este, el último ejercicio de la plataforma. Um, y también vamos a pasar la asistencia. And you can stay uh, just to check the last forma. Si ya lo hicieron o lo están intentando hacer, ya lo vamos a tratar de resolver. Pero recuerden que ahí eh, lo que se van a encontrar es, es con el zero conditional. Entonces ahí no es necesario que cambio de tiempo, pero en el ejercicio que lo okay. Demasiada información. <ríe> ya, ya se quiere ir a dormir, ¿verdad? <ríe> Ahorita van de vacaciones unos días. How many days, okay. teacher? Holidays. Some days off. How many, okay. how many days, teacher? Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, probably a week or two would be. I hope so. A week or two. Espero que una o dos semanas. Okay, mientras en la siguiente programación. Por cierto, ya todos enviaron la documentación. Recuerden que necesitamos hacer la inscripción. Bueno, para que se pueda abrir el siguiente. El módulo 5. Vamos. Eh, Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Ana Verónica Hernández. Present, please. Thank you. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Present, please. Thank you. Carlos Miguel Umaña. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, Carlos Roberto Argueta. Anda, anda. Ok. Carmen Elena Morataya Alas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Clelia Estela Flores Molina. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher. Thank you, Fernando. Fernando, una pregunta. Ya llenó la encuesta. No, teacher, porque me salió una emergencia, entonces tuve que salir. Ah, ok. Bueno, nos ayuda ahí enviándonos la, la encuesta. Me avisa okay, de no eso. La información ahí está en el grupo, pero si no, me escribe un mensaje para mandarle la información nuevamente. ¿Y se la tiene que ser hoy o se la puedo rellenar mañana por la mañana? A de preferencia hoy. No, no va a tardar mucho tiempo. Va, ok, no hay problema. Uh -huh. A menos que sea extremadamente pues. Si no se puede, uh -huh. pues sí, mañana. Eh, okay. Lady, yo, eh, gracias. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Thank you. Lady Joana Hernández. Lady Joana Hernández. Present. Nilton Alexander Vázquez. Pre present. 
Thank you, Nintón. Oscar René Molina. Present. Thank you. Rafael Antonio Hernández. Here, teacher. Okay. Rosa de Los Ángeles Enríquez. Present, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Rosa. Dígame. Dice que yo quisiera seguir, pero no sé si se puede en el turno de la mañana. El problema es que se me está dificultando en la noche, fíjese. Mm, eh, bueno. Ahí Le he mandado te... papeles por eso, porque no sé si hay cupo por la mañana. Te mandaría bueno, papeles. La... Ajá. Sí, comprendo. Bueno, la información que manejo hasta ahorita es que solo se está aperturando en la noche. Entonces ajá. sería, ajá, podría ahí valorar y considerar y comunicarse ahí nuevamente con las chicas. Si no, me escribe para igual este, comentarles ahí la situación para que la puedan orientar mejor. Está bien. De acuerdo, Rosa. Gracias. Gracias. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos. Present teacher. Thank you, Verónica. Ok. Bien, vamos, chicos. A mí no me meto en la Blanca Delgado. Blanca Delgado. Ya no miro. <ríe> ok. No, sí miro, sí miro. <ríe> Carlos Delgado Flores. <ríe> Aquí. Ok, thank you, Blanca. Bien, eh, nada más chicos, so, aquí sugerirles que completemos las tareas de la unidad 4, son las únicas que nos faltan. Y también, eh, bueno, vamos a checar esto, ¿cómo está? El examen, dicho. El examen, correcto, el examen. Eh, recuerden que tenemos eh, habilitado, bueno, de preferencia, si pudiésemos hacer el examen el día de mañana, estaría perfecto, porque nada más tenemos eh, dos días para para entregar el reporte. Entonces, si hay alguna actividad pendiente, complétenla y eh, pónganse al día con el examen. Durante el día pueden hacerlo. No sé si algunos ya terminaron el examen. Sí, Ahorita sí. no he checado eso. Sí, sí. No me da por ningún lado. Miss, yo terminé, pero aparece como la barrita en oscuro. No aparece. ¿Es normal eso? Vamos a checar eso. ¿Cuál sería? ¿Qué le sale oscuro? El examen final. Pero sí le dio un, un resultado. Sí. Ajá. Sí le dio el resultado. Uh -huh. ¿Ah? No, eh, solamente tiene que verificar si le dio al final este, el porcentaje, el total. Ok. El total. Thank you. Ok. Bien, eh, si hay preguntas, chicos, nos quedamos. Si no, solamente vamos a ver la actividad, la última actividad, y 19. Y pues, quien se quiera retirar, pues se puede retirar, no hay problema. De mi parte ha sido todo, y gracias ahí a quienes. Bueno, se van a quedar todavía. Vamos a ver. Gracias, teacher. Nos vemos. Sí, el 97%. Está bien. Y en el final ya lo tomó. Ah, sí, 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 ya lo vi. No, en esta dicha, mire. En section no me, rest, no me da. Y la puede ver. Mm. Ajá, veamos ahí el verbo. Tercera persona, el, el, el último. El último. Ok. La comida. Okay. Cook. ¿Ah? El verbo. Cook. Cook. ¿Qué habla? Vamos a ver. Tercera persona. Dale, malo. Ah, ok. Es que ahí la coma la puso antes. My son burns the food. Ok. Y ahí, ahí no necesita coma. Vamos a ver. Marquenla ahí nuevamente. Sin coma. Ay, por la coma. Es que bueno. la puso antes. No, yo... no puede ser. Sí, acá, aprovechando que está, que está de choto. Pero mira, por aquí tiene la otra. Por la coma era yo. Mire, sí. Mire, sí, es que mire. la coma la va por cuando. Vamos a ver. Espérame por ah, eso. Se tiene que traducir. Sí, estas cosas las hacen en español siempre. La esta de la 19. Esta la intenté hacer como 20 veces y tampoco me da. Se da la coma también, se la quitamos. Ah, no, ve acá lo que le está pidiendo es el verbo. No le puso el verbo en la primera oración. Vamos a ver. Ahí. Ajá. If she. 
El verbo que está en paréntesis. Face. Face. Hair bills. No, tiene que ponerle hair bills. Hair bills. Al revés. Hair bills. Acá. Ajá. Hágalo un poquito más grande. Ajá. Hair bills. Ahí está mejor. No vi la otra parte, pero le enviaron. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Ajá. No vimos la otra parte. Vamos a la otra parte. Y veamos la otra. Vamos a la otra. She doesn't, She doesn't have, have, to have to pay extra money. Pay. El punto. Ahí está. Vamos a ver. La coma está bien ahí. Sí, está bien. Ah, ok. Vamos. If she pays her bills on time, she doesn't have to pay extra money. No sé qué no vi ahí. El espacio de la coma con she creo que está, no está, está muy pequeño. No da el espacio ahí. Podría ser alguna espacio. Sí, está el espacio. Sí, está bien. Voy a poner, ubicar el que yo tengo. Sí, porque es money. Esta face no, no lleva ese, ¿no? No. No, vale. no, no. Pues vamos. Estuvimos viendo con otro compañero esto y y tal cual es la tenía la copié y no me la vi. Ah, cabal, mándeme la y tomo. Ya se fijaron que me va a ir. <risa> ya me exhibieron. <risa> no, lo intenté de todas formas, no. No, pero eh, bueno. Igual que esta de Recibe. El verbo. El verbo. Ahí falta el verbo en la primera oración. La hicimos de mil maneras con René y, y no le da correcto. Y le mandé hasta el copy page de mi, de mi, de mi sí. tarea. Y tampoco la tiene buena. Ahí falta el verbo, chicos. Si los ingresos son buenos. Mm, are good, coma, an employee. Ah, ahí está. Uh, and... An employee. Receive. Ok, márquela ahí nuevamente. Ya ve, ya ve, mis. No está haciendo ahí algo está. No está troleando porque yo la tengo buena tal cual está así. Sí, sí. sí, sí. Voy a ingresar el mío. La voy a copiar del mío. Y es que no, ya intentamos. No yo ya lo para... terminé, teacher, y no tuve ese problema. Uh -huh, para mí que es algún. A veces era algún espacio el que me sobraba. Le había puesto doble espacio. Ajá, y algo que no nos hemos eh, visto. No, pero le dimos, le dimos copy page, o sea, ¿Qué de, número mi, de mi plataforma lo copiamos al de él y ni aún es... así. No, pero este lo hicimos ayer en la noche y nos salió bien. Sí. Esta uh -huh. es la que hicimos anoche. Vamos a ver, déjame compartir acá. Okay, voy, voy a, a para de compartir. Ah, gracias. Teacher. Perfecto. Eh, me dicen ahí si ya se ve. ¿Sí? No, no se ve. Hoy sí. Hola, Hola, dígame. Eh, ya me voy a desconectar. Le agradezco sí. por su tiempo. Gracias porque sí aprendí un montón con usted, teacher. Y voy gracias. a ver por Danilice. Es que yo no quiero dejar de estudiar. Pero voy a ver cómo hago, teacher. Ay. De acuerdo, Rosa. Igual, escríbame para que le podamos apoyar. Ay. Gracias, teacher. Igual, buenas noches. Buenas noches, Rosa. Ok. Bien, veamos. Bueno, eh, la yo las tengo buenas, chicos. <risa> sí, yo sé. Yo, yo le haría a Ruth, Ruth y yo la voy chequeando yo con sí, la mía. Pero... 
en la de ah. en la de en lo la que casa, no logro, lo que no identifique en sus posiciones es este si había algún espacio de más de Verónica díganos no, Verónica no estoy leyendo pero if she paints if we don't okay, ahí o se sea, si comp... será el apóstrofe podría ser pero ahí se las acabo de compartir en el chat Oscar verifique okay. ahí copienla así como está ¿Cuál? Vamos a agarrar el verbo en la quinta le hacía falta a Oscar la S, no me Ah, ok. Sí, de verdad, creo que ya necesito letra. Vamos a ver. Ya, ya necesito letra, ah, entonces. <risa> ya me en preocupé. Incluí bono. Ah, sí. Bono es o bonus. 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 Punto. Voy a ver cómo tengo yo. Mm. Solo por las dudas. No, así lo tengo con bonus. ¿Y lo copió? ¿Lo copió? No, no, no. Ahorita, ahorita lo voy a copiar. Ahorita ya lo tengo en la puerta papel y lo pegamos. Y le damos Perfecto. a enviar. Y... Ya dio la 5, solo la 4 falta a mí. La 4 sí no me la Está bien, Oscar. Okay. Y la 20, ¿cómo va con la 20? Vamos a ver, Ay, la 20 sí, es la última. Verónica ya terminó. Okay, Verónica. Solo le, solo le falta completar una de las oraciones de la 19, la número 4, creo. Sí, la cuarta de la 19. Este, la... No, teacher, ya copié la 5 y sí me la agarra, pero la 4 no quiere. Mm, qué extraño. Sí. Así que, que yo creo que sí. voy a, lo que voy a hacer es mandársela nuevamente a la 4. Ya aparece el sistema de la empresa. No, yo creería que ha de ser algún espacio entonces que ha dejado tal vez al principio. Vamos a ver otra vez. Dejemos de otra vez. Okay. Y preguntas, chicos, acerca de otro ejercicio que, que bueno, no sé si ya o se entraron en. Miss no tiene, no tiene por ahí el link de la de la de la encuesta. Ah, oh, ¿cómo no? Que lo mande acá por. Se lo envío acá en el chat de Zoom. Sí, por favor. Ok. Ah, es ahí que quede en modo. Por lo menos ya tiene 16 de 20. Ahí me revisa el mío si no me falta nada, Ticha, por favor. Uh -huh. Sí, eso podemos hacer. Vamos a ver. Bueno, en la 20, teacher, también tenía yo la. La última. La 20 solo es de elegir la, la conjunción. Sí, vamos a ver. Sí. La 20. Solo por ahorita le envío los datos a Fernando. Uh -huh. Sí, Fernando, ahí está el link ya y aquí están los datos. Mm, ok. Ok, y veamos la 20. Gracias, Miss. Okay, you're welcome. Before I get to work, I have to take a shower. Yo creo que ya la entonces ya me salió más el progreso. 99%. Ah, está muy bien. Ya vamos a checar entonces el progreso de Verónica. Así quedaría mi Así quedaría el progreso, que ahí te lo puse en mi chat. Porque 99, no, agarró la, ajá, no agarró la número 4. Me la pegué como 5 veces sin la Si sí, yo no, no entiendo por qué le ha dado ese problema. Bien, veamos. Sí, me parece que era. Y Verónica es la última. Ah, pero ahí está el 100%. El, 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 el último que estaba bien es el. No, está bien. No, Verónica, estamos súper bien, 100%. Grado. Sí, 100%, nada más el... No, Verónica, estamos súper bien. Pero veamos quién más por ahí. El Rafael está por acá todavía. No, Ay, varios conectados. Yo creo que se le olvidó salirse. <ríe> Vamos a ver, Rafael. Regresamos. Verónica Burgos. Eh, ok, Homework 4 y Final Task. Ah, 
donde estamos bien. ¿no? A mí me aparece 99%, pero mire, usted ahí en la, en la, en la plataforma tiene 100. En la mía que está más abajo. Ahí está. Ajá. Sí, 99 es el total. 99, Nilton, muy bien. Pero ahí, ¿por qué no? no, sé, ya no, no. Jorge, me falta ahí, Jorge. Diana. Ok, bueno, así que quedé. Buenas noches y nos sí, vemos. Sí, mañana, otro día. Oscar, no se dé por vencido, tiene mañana. No, lo intenté con Fernando y toda la tarde pasamos así, entonces, y no, 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 no. Ok, pasen buenas noches. Sí. Buenas noches. Ok, dicho, gracias por todo. Gracias, gracias a los chico. compañeros también. Bye, ya. gracias. Bye, 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 bye. Gracias a todos. Verónica, usted ya, ya terminó todas las actividades, ¿verdad? Sí, ya estuvo, ya lo tengo completo. Ah, sí, sí, ya lo vi. Perfecto. Ya está. Sí, un gusto, Miss, y gracias por todo. Gracias, chicos. Nos estamos viendo pronto. Primero. Bye, bye, Verónica. Bye. Bye. Un gusto.